Okay guys, one last step. And again, I don't know if I'm gonna be brave enough honestly to air this because this is really hard, but you don't know where you're going unless you know where you've been. And you don't know what kind of goals you're reaching unless you have cataloged where you started from. So I am going to give you a little before shot of myself in my current state and body. Yeah. Fresh vet. We overseas with this one, man. Get busy. Get busy. Everybody get, get busy. I need y'all to report to the dance floor right this minute. It is time to make a change. It is time to make a change. First of all, this closet right here, I took a while, I took a little moment, and I put some important things that remind me of just important times in my life or important goals I have for myself where I can visually see them. And so I'll show you some of those things. Up here is a talk I used to do. I talked about the three crowns, really special to me, and so I have that up there to remind me and then um, here's some crowns that I had received when I was crowned. I was Mrs. Utah in 2008 and so that was a really wonderful experience for me. It was an amazing experience for me. I had seven kids at the time and was able to really refocus as far as what I wanted to accomplish in my life and I was able to speak a lot about adoption and it was amazing to me and so it's a wonderful year in 2008 so that's some fun things for me, this is some pictures from friends. I'm an architectural designer and I love inspiration and there's little ledgers, footprints that just reminds me to be patient with my body and recouping and reminds me of my cute little ledger. <laughs> love him so much. And then just journals, some really old journals from when I was a little girl. This just helps me when I come in here I can look at this and it just makes my heart happy and sometimes I just think we need an area to look at that makes our heart happy. Okay and then I have this wall right here and I have got this old um, kind of push pin board that I found at a recycling store and I'm going to post it right here and I'm going to go through and just put some like words of motivation, maybe some old pictures that motivate me, just anything that makes my heart just fill with joy when I look at it. I'm going to kind of divide it into different areas of my life that I want to improve. And so I'm gonna go through and do that. I'm gonna put it on my wall. This is the area in my closet that I like to have just kind of open. This is where I sit. Sometimes I will read or write in my journal in here. And many times this floor has been the recipient of a lot of tears, to be honest, over the past um, five years, especially having teenagers and young adults and trying to mother so many kids and be there for them but also be there for myself and for my husband and that has brought some tender moments holy cow some tender moments and so this closet is kind of a sacred place to me it's it has seen me through a lot of really hard times and so I just want to just make this area just a super special inspiring place where I can really feel and ground myself, anchor myself in these just new behaviors that I want to have in my life. And I went and grabbed my wedding picture. I just had this in a chest of mine and I thought I would just get it out because it's fun to look at, fun to remember, getting married and just the newness of having a family and I just look at, look at those eyes and think, oh, did you ever have any idea that you would have 16 babies, <laughs> 16 kiddos to love, but Anyway, it's just fun to reflect. So I just made this room a really great room to kind of reflect on just my life and some of my goals and some of my great moments. And so it's kind of a room of inspiration for me. Also these little boxes right here, I brought them in here. They just have these cute little um, kind of pieces of paper with envelopes. And I brought them in here because a lot of times when I'm in here just thinking, praying about my kids, I get inspiration for them. And so I thought I could start writing down like a little note to them and you know, give it to them or maybe hold it in this box for a while and give it to them maybe when they get married or when they're older. 
I've got a few of these and so I'm just gonna start accumulating letters to my kids in there. This is so funny to me because I have this right here. <laughs> I was wondering where these went. I don't know about any of you, but do you guys have some guilty pleasures that you like? You know they're not the best for you, but they just kind of, I don't know, that you just are your go-to or whatever. I have the little pleasures that I like that are just part of this life, you know, stop and smell the roses type thing. How I can do it and still have moderation in all things. How I can have, you know, these little treats of life without going overboard on them and without, you know, just totally junking. And so I'm gonna figure out what I want to do with my little guilty pleasure. I don't wanna feel guilty about it anymore. I am done with guilt. Guilt, I'm done. Seriously, I'm just done. Guilt ruins my world. It is literally, it's like the, the polar of joy for my life. It's like no matter what I'm doing, I feel guilty that I'm not doing something different, which is crazy. Why would I do that to myself? And so I'm just done. Guilt is one word that I want to get rid of in my life or at least just put it in a little tiny box that it belongs in and it doesn't need to be in this great big flashing light sign in my life. <laughs> so I don't know about any of you moms, but when I, especially when I was a young mom, it was so hard. I'd get up and I'd clean the house but then I didn't get to getting myself ready for the day or you know, I made a great dinner but the baby was still in their pajamas or you know, the house was a mess and anyway, no matter what I did, I felt guilty that I wasn't doing more or hadn't done the other thing and sometimes you just can't get to it all and so guilt started for me from a really young age and I am just done with the guilt. So I'm not gonna call it guilty pleasure anymore, I'm gonna call it pleasures, little pleasures, little pleasures of life that I am going to decide how to kind of keep it in the right zone, how to keep it under control, how to kind of have self-mastery in those things, but not just get rid of them altogether because I know that's not sustainable for me. I know that forever I can never, you know, say, I will never have dark chocolate again. I love dark chocolate, so I'm going to allow myself some of these things. I don't know if it's right or wrong, but it's how I'm gonna do it. However, that being said, they don't need to be in my special room, so I'm gonna go poke these in the cupboard downstairs. Okay, so I just got Ledger down for a nap. I've got maybe an hour and a half to work on my vision board. Probably interrupted hour and a half, but an hour and a half nonetheless, so let's see what I can get done. Okay, so that took way longer than I thought, <laughs> but it was fun. Needless to say, Ledger woke up from his nap while I was doing this, but it's because I printed all these pictures out. Oh my gosh. So just like fun quotes or things that inspire me to make good choices with eating and just anyway, pictures, old pictures. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I also am gonna show you, I have this fun planner and I'm sure lots of you do planners on your phone or you know, however you wanna do it. I love something that I can actually write in because I love to, I don't know, fill it in my hands and just write it down and cross things off. I'm so funny, I will make a list just to have things to cross off. I'll add something to my list if I forgot just to have the satisfaction of crossing it off. That is how. <laughs> How funny I am about that kind of stuff. But anyway, I got some fun stuff here. They have some fun stickers about um, getting fit and little ways to track like how many servings of water you have or just certain meals that you've had. Important for me because I totally, I'm just so busy in my day, I forget to have water. So anyway, they have all kinds of fun stuff. Daily schedules, weekly meal plans. So I'm just going to kind of correlate my vision board with my planner and so I can remember what I've got going on here. So I'm sure that there, there are so many people out there who are awesome at like scrapbooking and creating like boards that would be way more artistic than mine. I am just going for it. So I don't really have any rhyme or reason. I just printed off a bunch of stuff that inspires me, makes me feel happy in my heart, and I am just cutting it out and just gonna place it However, I feel like I want to on my board to make my vision board. This vision board isn't going to be like about um, what I want, you know, money wise or financial wise, which that's kind of a fun thing to do too, or, you know, other goals I have for my family. These are just like personal goals for me, for my body, for my mind, for my kind of outlook, my attitude, just kind of the vision I have for myself and bettering myself. I've done this before for my kids, for like, you know, if they're trying to try out for something or if they just need to have some focus, some refocusing. I've done this before with them, help them kind of create a vision for what they want. And you would be really surprised 
what can happen if you really create a strong vision for yourself and you really anchor it in there. Just a funny thing, I have a picture and I'm gonna show it to you in my bathroom and I've had it for years and I've always loved it. The one picture I kept back when me and Benji lost everything about 15 years ago when we had the whole financial crisis with the housing economy. We were builders and I'm an architectural designer so needless to say we lost everything. But the one really beautiful piece of art I kept, I kept these two pictures that go together and I kept them just because they meant something to me. I don't know, something about the landscape just, I don't know, just really touched me. And so I kept those two pictures and it's so funny because I notice when I look out my window, I have the exact same like picture. I've actually created it in real life. <laughs> so it's crazy how if you really anchor it in here, how you can kind of create it and it can be, um, I don't know, just, it's a really cool way that creation can happen in your life if you just really kind of create it in your mind first. Okay guys, I am done with my vision board. I don't know, I love how it turned out because it just makes me happy. And so that's, I think, all that it needs to do is kind of just create a vision for your life that you can feel inspired by and excited about. And so let me show you what I've done. So the first thing I put in my right hand corner is my kind of my marriage, my vision for my marriage. I put, I was home because that's how I felt when I met Benji. I felt like I had been homesick and that feeling of when you're homesick and then you finally get home, that's how my heart felt. And so I reminded myself of that there. Also put this cute thing, love it. And then I go on to my family is down here, my kids and kind of my motherhood inspiration. And so I love this. Your work is discover your world and then with all of your heart, give yourself to it. Sometimes I swear, I feel like I woke up and have 16 kids. I feel like I went from that girl right there to this mother right here and suddenly I have 16 children and some days kind of blows me away and other days I'm up to the task. And so I really want to be able to give all of my heart to my sweet babies. This is a beautiful picture of when Kennedy was leaving for 18 months to serve her mission. That's all of her brothers and sisters giving her a hug and just the look on her face is just so tender and it just reminds me of how precious these kids are of mine and the beautiful picture that was done right after I had Presley. I mean, this was like within five days of having her. Just loved that I was just out in the earth and just appreciating God's beauty and what we were able to create this sweet baby of ours, Benji and I, and I just, anyway, it was just a beautiful moment in my life. The present mother, I wrote that because I want to be present every day and I don't want to just let the days pass by where I'm just kind of just busy in my list. I want to actually be present for my kids and use those tender moments that I have with them. Love this one too. It says, never let a problem to be solved become more important than a person to be loved. And that a lot of times can happen with kids. And so I just wanted to remind myself of that. That's by um, President Monson. And then it's time. I say that because often we put it off and put it off until so much time has passed and it's time for all of this to happen for me this year in my life. And then down here I wrote hand it over. I love this picture. I have a blown up picture of this and it just reminds me of my children and when things seem too big that I can't do it on my own, it's time to hand it over to him and let him be the guide and let him help them to um, reach their full potential. And so sometimes the pressures of a mom are huge and 
sometimes I feel too big that it's time to hand it over to him and so that just reminds me of that. Moving on to the center of the board, I just love this picture. It just reminds me that even the Savior can find happiness and joy amongst all of the hardships that are going on. I had just once heard a saying that said, a mother is only as happy as her saddest child. And that was just so defeating to me. I thought, oh my gosh, how on earth does Heavenly Father ever find joy or happiness if he is always as sad as the saddest child? And so this just gives me permission to find joy, to find happiness, that it's okay, that things are gonna be okay, that you don't have to always be so serious and so focused and so, you know, feeling guilty about every little thing you do that you can step back and just find joy, especially in your kids. And so this just helps remind me to find joy in my kids and find joy in motherhood and that it's okay, that things are gonna be okay. Love this because it just reminds me of when I go for my walks and you'll see why that reminds me of my spirituality side in a little while when I show you that. Life is to be enjoyed, not just endured. I love that. Be a light, that reminds me that I can uh, be a light for others and help others in our world. Just love this picture. It's a bunch of little people all together creating these hands and just what we can accomplish uh, when we are together and united in a great purpose, and I just loved that. I'm moving on, happiness is when what you think, what you say, and what you do are in harmony. I love that, that's from Gandhi. I think that that's very true and very hard. <laughs> it's hard to do, get all of those things in line, and that's what I'm trying to do. Another one is faith is a real power, not just a belief. I believe that faith can actually cause things to happen. Real faith, and that just reminds me of that. I love this beautiful scene. I love to take in all of the beautiful world that God's created, and this just reminds me of this beautiful world that He's created, and the responsibility to reach out and to help others. And this just, it kind of helps me to refocus and remember all of these things. Next, moving on to the vision for myself and for my body. So these are pictures from in 2008 when I was just feeling really on top of the world. This is real lightning behind me and I remember that moment and that day of taking those pictures and suddenly it began to storm and the wind picked up and there was lightning and she was able to capture it behind me that day and I just love that picture and it just reminds me of a wonderful time in my life. And um, this reminds me of a, a performance I did and just Anything to make yourself feel, just remind yourself of good times when you've actually stuck to your goals and done a good job. And this was a time in my life when I really did. I really stuck to the goals and I was able to pursue my dreams and I loved it. And that's just a good reminder for me. Open up your eyes and you will see. Sometimes I feel like just throughout my life, I just am go, go, go. And I forget to really open up my eyes and look around at the beauty that's around me. And that's a good reminder for me. I am going to try to just eat alkaline, really high alkaline diet foods. I'm just really good, nice, wholesome, whole foods. And this is a good reminder for me. I love water um, with lemon and it just is fresh and clean. And that's a good reminder of me to make sure I drink. I wrote clean, I have some a picture of the lady who's running and you know when I was printing out this picture I thought oh I'm getting so old I probably can't run it will hurt my joints and then look I stumbled onto this picture. This lady's 101 years old and she was still setting records. <laughs> so I thought okay if she can do it I can do it and so that inspires me to turn my walking into running someday when I feel my strength getting a little bit stronger. And then down here, it's just fun. It's kind of like a, a fashion section, a kind of a look that I want to aspire to look like. Kind of like a classic, clean, fresh, just kind of elegant look. I love this show, The Age of Adeline, and the actress in it. I think that she did a wonderful job, and it just, I love her elegance in it. She is supposed to be, you know, non-aging, but she's actually like supposed to be 80 and look like this. And I just thought, I just love that she had all of that wisdom and I wished that I could, you know, fast forward and gain all the wisdom of my life right now and have all of that elegance and wisdom within me. And I thought, I do, I have that within me. If, if I focus and remember who I am, I can find that nobility and that higher state of thinking and higher state of mind as I work with my family and becoming who I want to become. So this is my vision board. I am now done with it. I am going to hang it up here. And now I have my room ready for my next step, which is 
to do. <laughs> so this is to create, to inspire, and the next thing would be to do. Okay guys, one last step. And again, I don't know if I'm gonna be brave enough honestly to air this because this is really hard, but you don't know where you're going unless you know where you've been. And you don't know what kind of goals you're reaching unless you have cataloged where you started from. So I am going to give you a little before shot of myself in my current state and body. So just know that I have really bad skin. Like I would just take off my makeup and show you, but I have blemishes, I broke out. I'm kind of like a dry skin going. I feel like no dewy complexion whatsoever. And I guarantee that's from not drinking enough water. I get, I had a baby 10 months ago, but at the same time with other babies that I had actually been active and doing a lot and um, kind of working out and staying in good shape and eating healthy, I've been able to bounce back. Now I know I'm 44, now 45, and so it's taking me longer. But no excuses anymore. Like I just feel like no more excuses. It's time to focus and to get rid of this so that I don't have to think about it anymore. And so I can be my real, just my most queenly state version of myself, the best version of myself that I can be. So that being said, I'm going to just kind of show you, now I'm not brave enough to like wear a swimsuit or something like that, but I am gonna show you like, my belly is definitely not gone down. It's been 10 months, this is no more baby, this is like chub, right? Like I can actually squeeze it, so I know it's chub. So I have got some major work to do here in my abdomen, and I can try to hold it in and whatever, but you know how it is, it doesn't last very long. And then from the back, I just have some stuff here that I wanna work on. This is the thing that I am excited about. I want to get nice arms. Like, I don't know if any of you out there have those nice like little muscles. I really want those nice muscles and I can do it. I know I can, so I'm having faith. I'm expressing faith that I can do it. But right now I just kind of got like this squeezy stuff going. Ooh, ooh, and this belly going and just, anyway, this is me. This is how I'm starting. I'm cataloging it so that I can see how much I'm progressing over time and Gosh, I think I'm gonna have to make this just one video because I'm too embarrassed to show the before without the after right connected. But maybe I'll be brave enough to show you the before and then in a few months show you the after. I don't know. I may have to think about it. But I'm gonna need your support. I don't want any mean comments. <laughs> I don't want any comments either way. I don't want comments saying, you look great. You shouldn't be doing anything or worrying about it. But I also don't want comments that say, geez, you've been, you know. Anyway, it's hard to put yourself out there like this, guys. So be tender and kind to me. And I wanted to say one last quick thing before we get going here. I realize I feel like I've got about 20, 25 pounds to get to my kind of my goal when I feel the best. I know when I feel the best in my body. I was at my best like 15 years ago, 10 years ago. And I kind of kept that clear up till maybe just a couple years ago. And then last year it just blew out of the water. But I know that that doesn't sound like a ton of weight to lose, but at the same time, 25 pounds, if it's holding you back from what you really want to accomplish or feeling really great about yourself or just feeling that energy and vibrance that you want to have with a family my size, then 25 pounds is equal to a thousand. It doesn't matter. If it's holding you back, it's holding you back. And like I tell a lot of moms who ask me, they're like, how do you deal with 16 kids? I can't even handle the two that I have. It's all the same. Work is all hard, right? And so for me, 25 pounds is gonna be hard. There are some people out there that have 100 pounds to lose or 50 pounds to lose or 80 pounds. It doesn't matter how much you have to lose. It's all hard work. Just like being a mom of two kids or being a mom of 16, it's all hard work. And we all need to like band together to help each other to buoy each other up and it's okay. There's also other people out there that can rock 200 pounds and feel awesome at it. And I am so stoked for those people, that's awesome. And I, you know, I feel good in my body. I love my body, I'm grateful for my body. But I just feel a little bit more in touch with who I am when I'm eating healthy, especially when I'm working out, drinking lots of water. I feel so good and my body returns kind of to my best state when I'm doing those practices. And so however my body turns out, I don't care if I lose 20 pounds, 25 pounds, or if I lose five pounds, if I am like really eating clean and working out and drinking water and I'm doing it consistently for several months, however my body turns out is great. It's great for me, I'll be happy, I'll be grateful, I will feel better, I know I will feel better, and a lot of my physical ailments will go away, and I'm just super excited to get there. So, 
Oh, here's my B4s. B4, 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 B4. And let's hope for awesome afters. Now I'm safe.